वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द लिटररी कोर्स इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर आई हैव डिस्कंटिन्यूड द सीरीज ऑफ द इंग्लिश नॉवल ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोड्यूस अ वीडियो ऑन लिटररी कोर्स इफ You haven't watched that video yet. You can visit my channel and watch that video. This is the extension of that video. I have selected some important quotations from the books of English literature. I have found many quotations often asked in the competitive exams like. the net and set exams conducted by the ugc i have made this video for you so that you can get some help from my videos i have discontinued the series of the english novel due to some technical problem i will continue that particular series in a few days without wasting your time let's dive into the video and enjoy the video literary quotes there is more knowledge of the heart in one letter of richardson than in all tom jones samuel johnson montaigne and howells letters are my bedside books I like to hear them tell their old stories over and over again. William Makepeace Thackeray. The slamming of Helen Huntingdon's door against her husband reverberated throughout Victorian England. May Sinclair on Anne Bronte's The Tenant of the Wildfell Hall. The expedition of Humphrey Clinker presents the various effects produced upon different members of the Dame family by the same objects. Sir Walter Scott. Nothing odd will do long Tristram Shandy did not pass Samuel Johnson Of all books I like this the best Charles Dickens on David Copperfield To recommend goodness and innocence hath been my sincere endeavor in this history Henry Fielding on the history of Tom Jones There is hardly a superior or active mind of this generation that has not been modified by Carlyle's writings George Eliot Howarth expresses the Brontes the Brontes express Howarth they fit like a snail to its shell Virginia Woolf on the Bronte sisters A man who loved his art despised money attracted everybody worth knowing in the 19th century lived through the worst of it and got away from it at last with his hands unstained George Bernard Shaw on France list My object has been to convey an idea of multitudes, violence and fury, and even to lose my own dramatis personae in the throng. Charles Dickens on Barnaby Rudge. This is a novel, not an autobiography, though much in it is autobiographical. More is pure invention. Somerset Maugham on of human bondage. I want to write the moral history of the men of my generation, or, more accurately, the history of their feelings. It's a book about love, about passion, but passion such as can exist nowadays, that is to say, inactive. Gustave Flaubert on l'éducation sentimentale, sentimental education. Trollope's great apprehension of the real, which was what made him so interesting, came to him through his desire to satisfy us on this point, to tell us what certain people were and what they did in consequence of being so. Henry James on Anthony Trollope. You have freed yourself from any compromise between the traditional novel and your original gift. Thomas Stearns Eliot on Virginia Woolf's novel Jacob's Room. Middlemarch is one of the few English novels written for grown-up people. Virginia Woolf on George Eliot's Middlemarch. Her mind contained nothing but hunger, rebellion and rage. Matthew Arnold on Charlotte Bronte. If I were Mr. G, O oh, Heaven how I would beat her Charles Dickens on Elizabeth Gaskell 
She has very generous principles, for one of her sort, and a great deal of sense and invention, she is about forty, very homely and fat. Jonathan Swift on Mrs. Delarivia Manley. Women are not such silly giddy creatures as many proud ignorant men would make them, but will become more malleable through education. Baths you make in. I had it all in my mind, its roads and railroads, its towns and parishes, its members of parliament, and the different hunts which rode over it. I knew all the great lords and their castles, the squires and their parks, the rectors and their churches. Antony Trollope on Barset Shear series. I am of this opinion that our own tongue should be written clean and pure, unmixed and unmangled with borrowing of other tongues, wherein if we take no heed betimes, ever borrowing and never paying, she shall be fain to keep house as a bankrupt. Sir John Checky. Of all philosophers, I esteemed him most worthy of reverence and with great reason, since of all philosophers he is the most poetical. Sir Philip Sidney on Plato. Poetry, therefore, is an art of imitation, for so Aristotle termeth it in the word mimesis, that is to say, a representing, counterfeiting or figuring forth, to speak metaphorically, a speaking picture, with this end, to teach and delight. Sir Philip Sidney. Satire is a sort of glass, wherein beholders do generally discover everybody's face but their own. Jonathan Swift in the Battle of the Books A beautiful and ineffectual angel beating in the void his luminous wings in vain. Matthew Arnold on Percy Bysshe Shelley It will be hard for a private history to be taken for genuine. Daniel Defoe in a Journal of the Plague Year All reading is misreading. Harold Bloom a great poem is a fountain forever overflowing with the waters of wisdom and delight. Percy Bysshe Shelley in defense of poetry. A thought to Dunn was an experience, it modified his sensibility. When a poet's mind is perfectly equipped for its work, it is constantly amalgamating disparate experience, the ordinary man's experience is chaotic, irregular, and fragmentary. Dash T. S. Eliot. If you watch the last 15 videos produced by me on this channel, you will find that all those videos are important from the examination point of view. You can visit my channel and watch all those videos which are very helpful for the students of English literature. I am also getting some messages from my subscribers who are studying in the colleges of different regions. They asked me a question whether they can use the content on this video. Surely they can utilize, they can use the content of this video anywhere because these are all my notes I have produced. You can make use of all the content of this channel. Don't worry about it. You can use the content produced on this channel. It is deliberately given at the bottom of the videos. The script you find on the videos, it is deliberately kept there for you. You can make use of that script while taking the exams. I hope you like the video. I will meet you soon with a new video in a few days. We will continue our series of the English novel. I will select a new topic for that particular series. I will meet you with another type of English novel in a few days. Till then, bye. Please subscribe Literature Guide.